centre-right coalition government back in June that over a corruption scandal. Well, there's a brand new way of building body parts similar to the way a spider spins its web just like the one behind me. It's now being developed by scientists here in the United Kingdom. The technique is called electrospinning, and it, inv it involves using electricity and generates tiny nanofibers, which create a 3D scaffold of tissue. The team at the University College London think the technique could produce better results than other ways of building body parts for transplant. Well, with me in the studio is Dr. Suwan Jayasinga, the lead researcher from the team who've been testing the technique by constructing blood vessels in mice. Thank you very much indeed for, for joining us in the studio. You've been so far um, researching on mice, yes. so how close are we to actually bringing this new research to help human beings? Well, uh, the, uh, at the moment the studies show that we can actually make vessels and we make structures in sheets or in uh, the form of a vessel and then uh, transfer that structure into a mouse. Uh, and we have got, uh, we've uh, shown that uh, there's no rejection in any form or in any way and uh, what we are now trying to do is to take this to higher model organisms meaning to move on to uh, larger organisms such as pigs and uh, sheep because they uh, uh, physiologically they have uh, dimensions of the organs that we possibly have uh, within us. If you like. So we're talking about creating new limbs, what, what about new human organs? Is it more about repairing them than creating new yeah, ones? Yes, I mean I'm, I'm, a, I'm being a scientist I'm a bit sceptical about uh, replacing an entire organ uh, but I think uh, what we believe at the moment is that we can patch damaged organs and that's uh, very important because I, 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 I don't see uh, uh, any uh, uh, method of replacing an entire organ being successful because that's a huge feat uh, but uh, certainly patching an organ is something that we can do. Well, even patching it, of course, would be, would be hugely important in the, of course. in the medical world. Now, of course, um, as a journalist, you know, we've got our headline, we're simplifying it a bit, like a spider spins its web. Yeah. Um, a spider looks effortless uh, as it spins its web. This, of course, is, is a lot more complex. Well, uh, the technology that we're talking about here is electrospinning. It's been known for about 100 years, if not longer. Uh, the unique thing that we've done uh, and what we've discovered is that you can actually mix the polymers with the cells and then spin them out. Uh, and what we get is the f uh, cells contained within the fiber. So you could pretty much build a piece of uh, gauze like tissue or a, a t-shirt if you like with cells inside and that... Uh, is, is it true you can even something create as thick as a mattress yes, as well? Yes, you certainly can and uh, this is uh, in, in, in the, the way that we see it it's uh, uh, quite a, a big, uh, is significant uh, finding because uh, a lot of people uh, before us who came before us were able to just build scaffolds and pour the cells on top. And this uh, is a problem because the cells don't go right throughout the tissue. But in our case, it's, you know, we can build whatever thickness, if you like, that the cells will be right the way through. And, and just, just briefly, if, if, you, if you would, Doctor, electrospinning itself, it, that, that's not a new method. This is not... Oh, no, no. It's been around for, like I said, 100 years. And uh, we've actually shown through this work that uh, the cells are not damaged as well, uh, because a lot of people would say, "Well, you're putting down 10,000 volts. That's not going to. That's definitely going to kill the cells." But this is much like a taser gun. So the cells are put through a voltage of about 10,000 volts, but the current is very, very low in the nanoamperes, and this is what maintains the cells' integrity uh, through the process and doesn't damage them at any level. Dr. Suwan Javasinga, thank you for joining us. Absolutely fascinating. Thank you. For thank you. Me. Well, that's all from us on the program. Next up, the weather. But from now, Katia, me, Katia Adler, and for the rest of our team here, goodbye.